Oh my god. Okay, I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling kind of spicy now. Feeling kind of spicy now. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, there's two? Oh my god. Ugh. Spit in my mouth, daddy. What? I'm so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I was frying. What's up, guys, and welcome to Modern Warfare 2. Finally. I can't believe I'm actually playing this game right now. Dude, I might actually bust a nut. What the fuck? I'm not gonna lie, it's been kind of a rough start for me. This is all brand new. It's brand new movement, brand new mechanics, brand new everything. So it actually takes a while getting used to. But once you get used to it, man, it's a ton of fun. I'm still having a hard time understanding the gunsmith system. Like, it seems very complicated. Like, you see my M4 here is a level 19 out of 20. So it's almost max rank. But then when you click on it, you have different receivers. And then I have this... It's like, is it a different M4, I guess? You have the Icarus, the Recon, and those are not leveled up at all, right? I don't know, dude, this is so confusing. I miss pick 10, bro. But yeah, so far, first impressions, it's a lot of fun. I'd be lying if I said I'm surprised by how campy it can play on some of these maps. I mean, it's an Infinity Ward game. It's just the way it is, you know? Like, that's kind of one thing I always loved about Treyarch games is they felt way less campy. Time to kill's really, really quick. There's gonna be, they usually push on the left side on this map here. Okay. Definitely flip spawns here. Okay. Oh my god, get pooped on, bud. Don't know what you're doing here. I definitely had to make myself slow down a ton. Okay, gotta get out, gotta get out. Got a cruise missile. <gasps> know your f***ing place, trash! Get out, get out, get out. No, no, not that way. They're over there. Dude, that was insane, what? I'm having to make myself play very, very slow in case y'all haven't noticed. Cause I was getting absolutely creamed on, dude. When we, like when I first started playing, I'm talking, I went like four and 16 one game before I quit. Not even joking. Oh, dude. Oh. There's so many angles in every single map. Okay, you're just a demon, console demon, huh? Ooh. <laughs> Dude, the way he dolphin dived right there, holy hell. Honestly, I'm ready, like I'm ready to grind. I, Dude, God, I'm frying. I am so excited to grind multiplayer, man. This is completely new, it's completely fresh. It's like learning all over again, man. Why are you not dead? Take this flash, hold that. Pussy. It just feels like it's been so long since we've had a new fresh experience for like everybody to relearn. It reminds me of like OG Verdance, man. When Verdance first came out, we had no idea what we were doing. Everybody was just having fun learning, you know? So like for those of you that were wondering how to slide cancel though, so they're saying slide canceling wasn't in Modern Warfare 2, right? Well, it actually is. Okay, Shh, fuck you, Lee. Like what you have to do is pretty much slide ADS twice and then slide again. That's it. Like slide ADS twice, slide again and you side canceled. But the thing is about it, it's just not very practical. Like everybody's so adamant about learning how to side cancel and everything in this game. And it's like, it's just not as beneficial to side cancel now. Like you can't break cameras and stuff anymore. Seriously, like, okay. So you know how you would come around a corner and side cancel into somebody and try to break their camera. So if somebody was like right here, right? And I, dude, leave me alone. Go away. But if somebody was try, like right here and I'm trying to side cancel around a corner to break their camera, look. Like it just doesn't work. It, it, it just doesn't work. You can't like side cancel B hop away from them anymore. Wow, victory, get shit on. What? See, okay, so that's a perfect example right there. I tried to slide around a corner and ADS at them. And I, I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm using the M4 and it's an AR, but it's just like, they obviously made the ADS out of a slide very, very slow on purpose. See, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, I cannot ADS out of a slide. You can't like slide cancel into people anymore. So I'm not really that mad about. Wow. What a play. Never let him know your next move. Kid most definitely knows where I am, right? What are 
you doing? Literally, what? It's comical. It's comical. Thanks, Infinity Ward. So I guess what I'm most confused about here. All right, so you have assault rifles. I have the M4. But a gunsmith. You have five different receivers here, but the Hurricane is a version of the M4, and so is the M16. Bro, what the f- But when you go to assault rifles, you see the M16 here. When you go to SMGs, you see the Hurricane there. So like how many guns are actually in this game? Dude, this is the most confusing thing I've ever seen. It's cool. And I think once we all learn it, it's gonna be really, really cool. But right now I'm confused as hell. Got the 74U, that's awesome. 74U is really good in this game. Scar, obviously, but it's called the TAC-56. Don't know how I feel about that. Just call it the Scar, bro. What are we doing? Got the FTAC Recon, which is also an M4. The Lockman 762, which I think is a version of the Lockman 556. Got an MP5 here. That's a Lockman sub. The Fennec. This is broken because it's a shotgun and it's a modern warfare game. Couple LMGs here. 556 Icarus. That's an M4 variant. Couple marksman rifles. MK2 is back. I know we're all excited for that one. And we got the Signal 50. That thing's dog shit. Got two pistols. The X12, X13. One's black, one's tan. Very unique. I'm kind of confused on perks too. So perks come as packages. You have Assault, Phantom, Hunter, and Deadeye. Assault has Overkill and Scavenger. So I'm guessing this is for more of a aggressive play style. Phantom, this is for the rats. It ghost and cold blooded. But what is cool is that to get ghost and cold blooded, or if you're using assault to get sleight of hand or hardline, you have to earn it within the match. Almost like a kill streak. So that's really cool. Hunter, that's also for kind of like an aggressive play style. Dead eye, support, and sniper. So that's different. That's cool. I do like how you can't just rock ghost all the time whenever you want to. I haven't even messed with the kill streaks yet. Ooh, the stealth bomber. I think I'm gonna rock that instead of the SAE. I did hear there's no nukes in this game. At least not in the beta. I couldn't imagine they dropped a Modern Warfare 2 remake and there's no nuke. That should be a, a felony. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with what we've got. There are some things I'm not crazy about, but I don't really want to say I'm not crazy about them because I think it's just stuff that I'm going to have to get used to. Like, it's really easy to say that you don't like the movement, right? But it's just different, man. You you can't really say you don't like it or it sucks because you've, we've been on this pretty much the same movement for almost three years now. It's different. It's going to be a learning curve. We're all going to be bad at it. I am excited to actually have a little learning curve here and learn how to be good at this game. Oh no, I choke. Regardless, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. Don't be expecting to see a whole lot of uh, Warzone content and stuff on the channel until this game comes out. I just literally have zero desire to play Warzone or Vanguard or Cold War or literally anything else but this now. I'm ass, I'm so dog shit. God, you're bad. Awful. Uninstall the game. I mean, sell your console, really. Eat my ass, Jebediah. Freaking nerd. God, you're terrible. Bad. Eat ass. Dude, like Jebediah! I am guessing that you guys have seen, like, the no loadout drama in Warzone, though. In Warzone 2. So I figured we would talk about that. Damn, dude. Yeah, railed. But as of right now, there are no loadout drop markers in Warzone 2. There's going to be no calling in your loadout, getting a free loadout. There is speculation you'll be able to buy your custom guns from the buy station, though, individually. I think that's pretty dope that they're trying to make it more like a battle royale and less like, you know, team deathmatch. And I think it's a good thing for multiplayer because it means that multiplayer is no longer a weapon leveling simulator. I think that's a W change. It's going to be a real battle royale again. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they brought in a resurgent style map again where you did have loadouts more like traditional war zone. But I'm glad that they're putting more focus into a real BR. All in all, I just think it's something we all just need to keep an open mind. I do think that the coolest thing they're adding in war zone to is proximity chat. Just imagine war zone solos being able to talk to your enemies. Can you imagine pushing a house and somebody's camping in a corner and you're just talking to them? Why are you camping, bro? Stop being this way. Why are you camping? Dude, it's gonna be so funny. Oh, I can't wait. Not only are there no loadouts in Warzone 2, though, there's not gonna be any perks either. Like, you won't be able to loot perks or anything like that. It'll just be buying weapons at a buy station. I'm assuming it'll be your custom class. Oh my god, just calm down, bro. Game just started. The gulag's totally different now. It's 2v2 now. That's something I'm not a huge fan of, actually. It's almost like gunfight, and there's like a key in the middle of the map instead of a flag, and you can get the key to escape. It's really, really weird. I'm not crazy about it, to be honest. The end zones are gonna be different. Instead of like one big zone, it's gonna split into three different zones, and you like pick which one you wanna go to. And then they all like merge back together at the end of the game. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool concept. And most importantly, the new map, Al Mazra is what it's called. 
It's gonna have a whole bunch of Modern Warfare 2 POIs, terminals in there, high rises in there. It's gonna be so dope, bro. Warzone 2, I mean, I'm mega excited. But on the multiplayer side of things, like I was saying before, you know, with them putting more focus into Warzone as a battle royale and not making loadout such a core element, it's going to make multiplayer not so much just like a weapon leveling simulator, which is what it's been the last couple of years. You can tell they want this multiplayer experience, Modern Warfare 2, to be good. They've put a lot of effort into it, and you can say what you want about it. There can be things you don't like, but I think the quality is there. I think once we kind of get around the learning curve of it, we're all going to love it. This beta feels like it has more content in it than Vanguard has in the last 10 months.